with its balmy Mediterranean climate, outdoor lifestyle and string of superlative beaches. You could be forgiven for thinking Cape Town was an advert for the good life. There's no denying this beautiful city is in a league of its own. My adventures here begin in the nearby vineyards of the Western Cape. I'm staying at the Five Star Liu Estate in the beautiful Frenchuk Valley in the heart of the wine region, which has also been dubbed the gourmet capital of South Africa. This 17-room country hotel boasts a 15-metre infinity pool overlooking the vineyards, an impressive collection of sculptures by leading South African artists, a fine dining restaurant, a fire-lit library and its own wine studio. A South African wine has an amazing approachability in its youth. Uh, because of our sunshine, you know, all, South African wine is about harnessing that sunshine. So the tannins are never too harsh or green or unapproachable in their youth. But I've consumed South African wines from the 1930s and 40s. It shows that they age really well too. So you can collect them, but you can drink them when they're young. And I think that's what's really attractive overseas. And do you like being connected to the Lou Estate? It must be nice to have some of those people come through here as well. Absolutely, we're introduced to customers that maybe came for a place to stay, and then they're here for the wine. They didn't necessarily think they were coming for the wine, but then we're introduced to them and they're like, I love the wine. You know, and I think it goes vice versa as well. So it's, it's a fantastic relationship. The novelty of having such a property is unique to most of our tourists and most of the guests that come and visit. For the locals, when you look at a vineyard, you see wine. But for somebody who comes from a non-wine region and non-wine producing area, it's an experience, complete different. And I think very nostalgic in a way, because it takes you back to the time where the first French Huguenots planted the vines in this very area. And this is where most of the wines have started in South Africa.